Hun, what are you doing? Well, I'm planting some money so it can grow. So, about to do that and then, you know, see what happens, right? Just gotta, gotta grow the money, you know? <laughs> now we'll wait and see. <laughs> Babe, oh my God. Come here, check it out. What is that? My money. My money's growing. I'm growing my money. My money's growing. Woo! And that's how, that's how you grow money. What is going on guys, Tobin Shore here of Heroes Financial Group, your financial hero here to educate and empower you to take control of your finances. Now, of course, from the previous video, right at the beginning of this video, um, that is not how you grow your money, okay? You, you absolutely cannot just uh, plant your, your coins or dollar bills into the ground and uh, it's gonna magically sprout out, you know, a couple bills here and there, right? So. Um, of course, you can't do that, so uh, don't 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 follow that example, right? There's no way you can do that. Definitely don't teach your kids that, right? You know, don't get their hopes up, all right? You can't just grow a money tree. I wish you could, right? But does not work, right? Doesn't work. But anyway, in this video, I'm actually going to talk to you guys about the three ways money grows, how to actually grow your money, right? Bet you didn't know that there's three ways that you can actually grow your money. And again, it's not through planting it into the ground. All right, but you know, you got to plant your seeds in one of these three ways, okay? So, um, quick background, right? Me, I've always been fascinated with money, right? With with the way you can, uh, the different, the different um, money and financial products out there, right? Since I was uh, young, I've always been pretty good at saving, right? And then, you know, since I got older, I've always been just kind of learning about the different kinds of products that are out there for you to be able to make your money work for you. Okay? So, <clears throat> on this topic, all right, we're going to we're going to make sure that you're educated in the ways that you can make sure that your money is optimized to work for you. Okay? So, first way that money grows. All right, first way that money grows. A lot of people are actually very very um exposed to this way that money grows, right? The fixed way. Okay? The fixed way. All right? So these are things like your bank account, right? Checking, savings, uh, money market, bonds, right? Uh, and of course, cash, right? What's great about this? What's good about the, the fixed way that money grows, right? Usually when you're putting your money away in, in, in the bank, okay? Or if you have it just in, in a cash on hand, right? Um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's pretty safe, right? You've got that, that um, safety there, okay? And when you've got money in the bank, usually about a a quarter million FDIC insured okay but the thing is what's not so great about leaving your money in the bank or cash on hand right keeping your money in a, in a safe under the mattress or maybe you're even putting your money in a ziploc baggie and actually putting it underground right again trying to grow that money and trying to grow that money tree right but um, <clears throat> the thing is you don't really have any you don't have any growth in the fixed way Okay, you don't have any growth there, right? So that's the not so great thing. Now, you look at this graph, there's a pretty good representation of how your money um, grows or, you know, kind of the lack thereof of growth in the fixed, uh, the, the fixed way of growing your money, right? Pretty um, just not so great, right? Almost a straight line, right? Because you're getting somewhere between 0 and 1%, right? 1% if you're lucky, um, you know, when, when you're getting, you're leaving your money and sitting in the bank. Okay, not it's not it's not great, right? It's not really growing much at all. Now, is it? Okay, because I mean, really, what's what's the what's the bank give you on your money? Okay, what's the bank give you on your money? Again, not much, right? Not much. You're not putting that money to work for you, right? And also, what's actually killing the value of your money? Right? I've talked about this in previous videos, right? It's inflation. Okay, and taxation as well is also, um, you know, devaluing that that money that's just sitting in the bank. So again, you've got safety, but you don't really have any of that growth in the fixed way. Okay. Now the second way, a lot of people know about this, um, right? A lot of people know how to grow their money the variable way, right? We get a lot of us get exposed or, or get taught this, right? Through uh, through HR or through YouTube, Twitter, whatever. Okay, these are 401ks, probably the most common, right? 
If you're a military like me, the Thrift Savings Plan, TSP, okay, there's 403Bs, 457s, right? Um, there's the IRAs, okay? Stocks, right? All of those, all of those are just different tax codes, by the way, uh, and the money is just in the stock market, okay? Or just you can get some individual stocks, okay? Uh, real estate, and then what's big nowadays is a cryptocurrency and things like uh, NFTs, right? Non-fungible tokens. Okay, so what's great about the variable way of growing your money, right, is that you have growth, okay, you have high growth possibility, right, you know, where you, 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 can, you can grow your money pretty, pretty exponentially, right, but the thing is you don't really have any safety, you don't have that safety there, right, it's a variable, okay, if you can see this graph, right, your money, it, it just goes up and down, up and down, up and down, okay, sometimes flat line straight, right, and then again, it, it, sometimes it can shoot up, but it can also shoot down, right? So that's the variable way of your growing your money, right? Um, high growth possibility, but also high loss possibility as well, right? You've got that risk, okay? And the thing is, when you're, um, you've got your money, a lot of your money in, the, um, in a variable kind of account, a lot of people don't really realize how much you need to gain when you lose, right? So, Here's a few examples here, okay? If you have a loss of 10%, right? A lot of people think they just need another, they just need a 10% gain to get their money back. That's wrong, flat out wrong, right? If you lose, say you have $100, you lose 10%, you're down to 90. What do you need to get back to $100? You need a little bit over 11% to get back to your original $100, okay? And look how, how, how much more you need as you lose more, right? 30%, you need 43% now. 50%, you need 100%. When you, if you lose 90% of what you have in a variable account, you need a 900% gain just to get back to where you originally were, right? A 900% gain, that's crazy, right? That's pretty crazy. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the variable way. Now the third way that money grows that not a lot of people really know about or understand is indexed, okay? The index way of growing your money, <clears throat> right? Now these kinds of accounts are known as fixed index annuities or index universal life insurance policies, okay? Cash value life insurance policies. So what if I told you that you could actually have the safety of the banks and the growth of the market at the same time? while having, you know, principal protection, right? And a whole bunch of other advantages to this kind of account, okay? So if you look at this chart, this is the way that your money grows in an index type of account, right? So when the market is up, you're up. If the market's down or it's not performing, you just flatline, right? You just flatline, you stay straight. You don't have any losses. Okay, so let me, sh I mean, like I'm showing in these numbers here, right? If you have a gain of 20%, <clears throat> maybe you actually have a 20% uh, in the market, you can have a gain of 10%, right? Just assuming that maybe there's a, there's a, a cap, a 10% cap on the uh, index that you've attached your, your money to, okay? If you have a loss of 20%, though, right, you may have a gain of 0%, but then you don't have any loss, <laughs> right? There's nothing to make up for. And again, you have a gain of 8%, maybe your money gain 8%, right? Loss of 30%, again, no loss at all to you. Okay, that's the loss in the market, loss, loss or gain in your, uh, your account, your policy. Okay, so you can see here, you have more of like a stair step kind of growth, right? Where, you know, again, this could be straight up, right? Steady up, okay? But you, we know that the markets are gonna go up and down, right? These index types of accounts that are attached to, uh, to an index, right? But they're not directly in the market where you are subject to the market volatility and losses, right? So if the market is up, you're up. If the market is down or not performing, you're just straight cruising, right? It's up, you're up, right? Again, flat line, flat line if it's not doing so great and then so on and so forth, okay? Now this is the three ways money grows, right? Fixed variable index. And a lot of people don't really understand this part right here, right? Warren Buffett, probably one of the greatest investors of our time, 
right? It's got two rules of investing, right? If you're not familiar with it, here they are. One, never lose money. His second rule, don't forget rule number one, right? And how does he do it? How is that done? Through index type of accounts, right? This is something that, that financially savvy and financially educated have been using for decades, right? Yet, yeah. why aren't you, right? You might not be using it because, you know what, you probably don't know, okay? Because a lot of times when I talk to people and teach them this, uh, this, this, these three ways that money grows, right? And I ask them, you know what? Do you have a, do you have a, a do you have a fixed type of account, okay? A lot of people say, yeah, of course, right? Who doesn't have a, a bank account, checking account, savings account these days, okay? The next thing, hey, do you have a variable type of account? Do you have some kind of a retirement plan through your work or anything like that, right? And a lot of people, again, often say yes, right? Or they at least they've heard of it, okay? Yeah, I have a 401k, I have an IRA, right? Um, but when I ask them, do you have an index account? Do you have an account that will grow without while protecting your principal and locking in your gains right do you have that kind of account and a lot of people say no they don't right they've never heard of it okay they've never heard of that so they're not sure right <laughs> about that all right i don't know if you saw that but um you know there's a there's this little little monster right here um kind of uh <laughs> running around but um you know trying to trying to teach trying to assist here but um anyway okay so now you know the three ways that money grows right again you cannot just plant it into the ground and it's going to magically sprout out a bill okay but this is how you can do it now for yourself right so you can either grow it through fixed right which is important to have money in the bank, of course, have it easily accessible, right? But probably not the best way, not the, not the only way you should be growing your money, okay? Because, I mean, again, pretty, not very, not very um, lucrative, not very much growth at all, right? Variable, you know, great way to, to grow your money, right? But you gotta have safe, you know, you, it's not 100% it's not safe and you can lose most, if not all of your money in the variable, variable type of account. All right i'm not completely against it but not completely for it either because there's more optimal ways to do it which the optimal way right here would be an index way of growing your money through again fixed index annuities right or index universal life insurance policies okay so again having that safety and that growth at the same time all right so if i can show you a way to actually incorporate an index type of policy into your financial strategies, right? How would that change your, your, your um, financial future so that you have a more predictable financial outcome for you and your family, you know, for things for like for your retirement, right? Having it more predictable um, definitely makes it a lot easier for you to plan, wouldn't it, right? So again, fixed variable index, all right, if you guys have any questions at all, don't forget to um, put down a comment, send me a message, right? So uh, we can help you out with, um, with these kinds of accounts, right? And if you got any suggestions, right, um, make sure you put a comment as well or send me a message. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this content, guys. I hope this was uh, helpful to you, right? Please, please don't hesitate to reach out, right? Again, Tobin Short of Heroes Financial Group. Hope you all have a good day. Peace. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by my very own company, Heroes Financial Group. At Heroes Financial Group, my team and I help people just like you formulate the best financial strategies so that you can protect your money, achieve financial freedom, and build a legacy for you and your family. We do consultations and mentoring and coaching sessions so that we can discuss things like investing, retirement planning, income and asset protection, children's education funds, credit repair and arbitrage, debt solutions, and creating additional streams of income and starting your own business. Now my contact details are below. Feel free to contact me so that we can see if my team and I are the right fit for you and see how we can help you become empowered so that you can help yourself achieve your financial goals.